Hi, I'm Jay Abraham. CEO after CEO tells me the future of their corporate family business has never seemed murkier. Take this note I got from Ray, who's heading up a family business that's generating about $500 million a year. When I became CEO, my uncle handed me the keys to a going concern. I had a head start. All I had to do was stay on course, but all of a sudden, competitors are gaining. I've tried to turn it around, but can't seem to get any traction. Does Ray's story sound soberingly familiar? Well, he's far from unique. Just like you, he's come to realize that in turbulent times like ours, settling for the status quo is a recipe for disaster. Just like you, he realizes that the only way to secure your business future, the only way to be sure that the next generation of leaders enjoys the kind of healthy head start that you enjoyed, is to find a way to put your business on a new glide path to growth. But that's where things become less clear. Because as so many corporate family business CEOs tell me, it's not like you haven't been trying. It's not like you haven't been putting in the long hours or experiencing the stomach churning stress. But no matter how hard you work, no matter how many costs you cut, no matter how much you mimic other companies' tactics and best practices, you're just tinkering around the edges. You aren't creating the serious, substantial, sustainable growth your business needs, which means, as you know all too well, Since you aren't gaining, you're actually falling behind. Here's the problem in a nutshell. Your formal education, your experiential learning, even your self-development efforts all combine to teach you how to successfully run a business in a linear world. But guess what? We now live in a far more complex environment, a non-linear environment. Don't believe it? Just look around you. What do you see? The pace of change is mind-blowingly fast. Disruptive technologies appear almost out of nowhere, overwhelming the old barriers to entry. Leaner, more agile supplier relationships are overturning the old value chain. Demographic shifts and geopolitical power struggles are undermining the dominance of Western developed nations. You can pretend that these changes aren't happening, but look at brands that we all used to think were bulletproof, like Kodak or Blackberry or Hewlett Packard. How did denying reality work out for them? As a CEO leading a corporate family business, you face a fundamental sobering truth. The old rules no longer apply the game has fundamentally changed. If you want your business to succeed, if you want your business to continue to provide a future of wealth and affluence for your family shareholders, then you and the key executives in your organization who work most closely with you must learn the new rules. Rules that will propel your business forward to grow and even thrive in a non-linear world. I'm well aware, I've seen it with my own eyes in my live presentations, that some CEOs opt out at this point. The disruption I've described is just too daunting. The reality they face is too overwhelming, so they revert to full-blown denial mode. But here's the ironic thing. For those CEOs who refuse to be daunted, Those leaders who won't be overwhelmed, those executives who insist on seeing and acknowledging reality. Guess what? The very fact that so many other CEOs cling to the old rules is going to create incredible competitive advantage for you because you can learn the new rules, rules that will prepare you to lead your business through turbulent change, Rules that let you navigate around uncertainty so you keep your business on that glide path to success. I'll show you how later in this presentation. Thanks, Jay. In our next segment, you'll learn five shocking facts that every CEO and senior executive must know to successfully lead a business today. 
You'll find them on our website.